Hi you guys. So today I'm going to be telling you all Cody's story. I feel weird. I feel like Mr. Rogers or something. I'm just like sitting on the couch all alone. I don't know. I feel weird even though I don't think he's ever sat on the couch. Um, but anyways, this is like weird without having Michael here. Um, yes, it is just going to be me in today's video. This is my story to tell. I know, it's a lot. Just Gina in the video, it's pretty boring. I know, I know. But it is um, a story that a lot of you guys have been wanting to hear. I had Cody in a video of mine a few weeks ago, something like that, a few videos ago. And I mentioned really quickly that I will tell his story. Um, unfortunately, I expected to have a way different outcome at the time. Uh, so the story definitely changed. But so, so many of you have been asking me about Cody, DMing me, commenting on all of our videos, wanting to hear his story. And I'm really happy to hear that because I think that his life needs to be shared. He deserves that. So Piggy's here. She's going to help tell the story. You can probably barely see her, but here's her little bum. She's like so curled up into a little chicken nugget right now. You're so, so cute. So Cody was a phenomenal, phenomenal dog. He just, he, just the sweetest little boy. Not little, he was huge, 150 pounds. But um, he never had a good life, unfortunately. And I think that's what upsets me the most because all dogs deserve to have an incredible life because dogs are just incredible. So Cody, his first family left him outside his whole life. He was outside. He was neglected, mistreated, just, it was just awful. So a rescue center found out about him and took, that, took him from that family and rescued him. And the person that I know, I'm not going to out them, but they rescued him from this rescue place and gave him a good, good life for three years, I think. Um, they gave him a great life. They spoiled him and uh, some circumstances came up where they weren't able to really take care of him properly anymore and um, they were going to put him down. But when I saw that Cody was eating still, I thought that that was not the right decision to make. I could see that he was still enjoying life and eating and um, that was really important to me. That was like the most important information. I was like, wow, he he's eating? Like, he's definitely not ready to be put down. And I would say that I know a lot about dogs. I mean, I've been around the ringer. I have seen so many specialists. I've been to so many different vets for the older bulldogs. And I've heard so much information from so many different veterinarians and specialists that I think I know quite a lot and I also know about tech and I've been a dog lover my whole life so I've wanted to be a veterinarian um, whenever I was growing up I wanted to be one so I think I know a good bit and I made the call that he was not ready to be put down and I and many others um, think that that was the right decision and right call so I was sitting there and his appointment to be put down was about three hours away and I was like, I have to save this dog's life. Now, unfortunately, Mike and I were not in the place to take in this dog permanently. Um, we have full-time jobs that are 24-7. It's just crazy, 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 go, 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 go. And we also have two senior dogs that need full care. They each need medicine um, every single day. And they have their own little systems. And it's very stressful already having Yellow not get along with the two girls. It's, it's a whole crazy situation that we have going on in our own lives with our own dogs and then work on top of it. Um, it was just a lot to be bringing in a new dog full time. So my plan was to give him a really, really, really good life, like spoil the crap out of him for about a week until I could figure things out with finding a really nice rescue place for him. Um, and it crushed me thinking that he was going from one family to the next, to a rescue, to another family. That's a lot on a dog, but I was hoping that once I found a rescue place, this would hopefully be the last time that he would have to ever move in his life and he would be really happy at this place. So I found out about Speranza. They are an incredible, incredible animal rescue. You guys should totally go look them up, like their Facebook page, if you want to see like adorable things. 
Um, unfortunately, I liked it, and now I see all the posts, and I want to go rescue every single animal, and it's bad. But um, they are an incredible place, and I was so happy to find them. They were willing to help save Cody. It was very, very exciting. So we have a nice bedroom out in the garage, actually. It's an actual bedroom with air conditioning and everything. So I had him staying in there. And um, I spoiled him for a week while I was looking for different places. I was, you know, looking around. It took me till the very end to find Speranza. And I also had help from Mike's mom. She helped me so much. She is incredible. Towards the end of the week, he was never, ever, ever an aggressive dog. He never bit. He never growled. He was just so, so friendly and sweet, which was shocking for the life that he had. But towards the end, he started to not want to be touched. He didn't want to be picked up. And he would growl and bite Mike um, so you could tell he was uncomfortable so I called Mike's mom and had her come over and look at him I don't know if I mentioned this but she was a vet tech she knows a lot of things so when she came over to look at him and she found out that when Mike was picking him up his hand and his arm was resting on his stomach that's where the pain was coming from um, so her guess was that he actually had a very large tumor on his stomach at the beginning of the week when we had him, he was very happy and doing great. And then things started to go downhill. Um, things go downhill like pretty fast with anybody, humans, dogs, anything. Um, so you can be fine one day and then start to really, really go downhill like overnight. Um, and that's kind of how it went with Cody. He could see okay at the beginning of the week and then at the end of the week it kind of seemed like he couldn't really see at all anymore. He was running into things and... Uh, he was uncomfortable and, you know, biting, growling, getting upset whenever you would touch him or try and pick him up <clears throat> because we wanted to bring him inside um, if it was too hot. And he would not get up on his own, so you would have to physically pick him up. You could tell he was definitely getting very uncomfortable. And unfortunately, that night after uh, Mike's mom came over during the day, that night he did pass away. Um, and... I was really, I was really, really, really trying my best not to fall in love with this dog. It was kind of like business. I wanted to save his life and find a good home for him um, and just kind of get that process done. I was trying to really, really focus on getting that done and not falling in love. Even if I gave him to Speranza, I knew that that was going to be a really, really hard thing on me to say goodbye. But little did I know that I would be saying goodbye in a totally different way. And I do not want to cry about this. Um, I fell in love with Cody in less than 24 hours. He was just such an incredible boy. And he was so sweet. And he did not deserve the life that he had. And it's just so sad thinking that, you know, he was born into this world. And he just had such a rough life the whole way through. He, he never had, like, a stable family his whole life. And it's just... It's really, really hard to think about, and um, I really tried my best to spoil him as much as I could, um, but I think I was being pretty unfair to myself. I was trying to spoil him f for 13 years worth, and uh, I couldn't really do that in a week, but I tried my absolute best. Luckily, his last day of life, I spoiled him the most I ever did. Um, I gave him ice cream. I gave him hamburgers from McDonald's. I knew eating was his favorite thing to do, so I really wanted to give him his favorite thing in the whole entire world, and that was, you know, cuddles and food, and I laid out in the shade with him in the side yard and put out a blanket and just laid with him and hung out with him for hours. Uh, so, unfortunately, that is the story. I rescued this boy and he was incredible. That's all I have to say about him is he was so adorable and gorgeous and I was gonna get him to Speranza, an amazing rescue place, and have him be very very happy. But unfortunately um, things did not go as planned and that's kind of how life goes and I'm sorry it's like a really bummer video um, but that's that's it, you know, and I, I felt like his story really needed to be shared. I didn't want to make this video once he passed away, but I realized that he deserves to be shared um, because he is so incredible. 
so I have a bunch of videos and pictures that I will put up for you guys so you can meet him basically um, and just see how gorgeous and gentle and adorable he was. It was a very tough week. It still is very, very tough. I am not sleeping still. I still like have yet to go back to regular life and I think it's going to take me probably months to get back to regular life. Um, it was just a very hard, intense situation to go through. And it's going to be a very intense and hard thing to heal and get through, but I know I can do it. And luckily, I have my babies. Um, they've helped in so many ways. They are just... Dogs are definitely a very good support system. Thank you guys so much for listening to this story. I plan on this video going way different. I was going to have Cody with me. Um, and explain everything but that's not how things turned out unfortunately um, but once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next vlog and without further ado meet Cody <laughs>